Welcome back to Wasteland 2. The first order of business is to sell a lot of my crap. I had a heck of a lot of stuff cluttering up my inventory, especially since I just killed like two dozen people. So I'm just gonna dump a bunch of my weight. I'm back here in Hollywood selling my stuff to Rambo, the gun shop owner. Gonna get 4,000 for this, so let's go ahead and sell it. And we should be pretty good on weight. I'm still going to be kind of on the heavy side, because I do have a massive amount of ammo. Way more than I need. I mean, I could sell a bunch of shotgun shells, but... Eh, I'm just going to keep it. It's, uh... My, my ammo is very poorly organized, but I don't really care, because at the moment, nobody's running out of ammo. So, I think we're good. Oh, well. Some people are actually still weighed down, I guess just because the ammo. What's going on with Helen? She barely has anything. Hmm. I guess that mod is kind of heavy. Since I am going with pretty much... I think I'm just going to stick with a 50 caliber. Probably throughout, throughout the entire rest of the game. So I could actually sell my M24. It is 18 pounds. It would save a lot of weight, but... I'll, I'll keep it just to be careful. Oh yeah, I could have sold the grip tape. Whatever, I'll just dump it. That's fine. Close enough. Okay, so next order of business is to continue the quest. Or quests. So I've been helping... Let me get my people moving first. This is Heidi's. This is the diner. Okay, I want to go to the diner. Yeah, so I've been advancing these quests with Veronica and... Ascension McDade and all this stuff. So at the moment, I need to continue to do what Veronica wants me to do. Well, actually, what Veronica and McDade wants me to do. So Veronica wants to see the penitents freed. That's already done. McDade wants to see the slavers Duke and Swifty and the salt dealers driven out of Hollywood. That is partially done. So I killed Jones and his followers and the people staging the coup. I took out the salt dealers and the sewers. I'm not sure about Duke. I think I maybe killed him. But I don't think I killed Swifty. Um, I think what I need to do is confront... What, what is his name? Swifty? Swag? I, I don't know. I, I need to confront the dude in here. I don't know if his name is Swifty or Swag or Swifty Swag or what. I don't even remember. But I think I need to go talk to this asshole. Nope, haven't found anything more about that. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'm guessing he still doesn't want to talk to me. He really doesn't. Okay then. I'm just gonna hack the damn thing. My chance is really 27%. Okay. Well, that was easy. Hmm. Back down, Bowser. They're tenacious. I'm giving them a two-minute respite. Then you can kill them. Tell me what the fuck you're doing in my office now. <laughs> Will you vote for Veronica? <laughs> It's a little bit late for that. We already had the vote. Heidi's already gone. I already killed Heidi. We just want to help you out. No, um, I want to kill you. What do you know about the slavery in Hollywood? You wouldn't happen to have anything to do with it, would you? So, you got Swifty's books, huh? That's too bad. For you. Call the cooks, boys. We got some fresh meat for the stew. He says and then proceeds to not shoot me? I'm guessing he's gonna sh try to shoot me as soon as I say goodbye? Well, in the meantime, will you please vote for Veronica at the, H at the next HCC meeting? Huh. Apparently not. 
Okay, you die now. <laughs> That's so weird. So he says, I'm gonna kill you. And then nothing happens. You're just like, yeah, chat about the weather. See any good movies lately? Wanna go for a walk on the beach? No, I don't really feel like it. Okay, goodbye. I'm gonna kill you now! Weirdo. Alright, these dudes are pretty weak. In fact, let's not even waste a 50 cal ammo. Not worth it. Okay, if I can get a crit, I can kill him. Ah, damn. Didn't. Oh my god, he's so weak. Well, I've got a lot of turns to kill him. Let's uh, see if we can punch him to death. Let's soften him up first. Here we go. 11 hit points. I think you can handle this one, Lexcanium. Punch his head off. Oh, he, he actually literally punched his head off. Copy, Ranger Team Echo. This is Santa Fe Base. Over. Echo. Congratulations, Echo. Three points, not enough for anything. Except toaster repair. I can get that up to level two. Yeah, I'm sure gonna be able to repair a lot of toasters. Ooh, spectrum assault vest. I think I actually might need more of those. Let's see. Yeah, he needs one actually. Where did it go? There it is. Two more armor. Nice. Let's actually go ahead and sell my old armor. Whoops. Because this thing is pretty heavy. You don't even have the money. You only have 140. Let's try you. You only have 20. Okay. Hey, so, um, I killed your boss. Do you want to take over the diner? <laughs> She's still asking if I found anything more about Duke and the Slavers. It's not really relevant anymore, is it? Oh, now I can say it. Oh, yeah, um... We killed Duke. He always had a temper, so I'm not surprised. Uh, I, d I didn't kill him because he had a temper. I killed him because he... Well, I guess I kind of did. I don't know. She doesn't even care. It's like, eh, yeah, I guess it happened. Come back soon. Alright, what did that do for the quest? There we go. We did it, the penitents are free, the slavers are gone, and the salt dealers have been taken care of. There are no more obstacles to peace between Hollywood and the Bastion. We should... Head up to the Bastion to witness the peace ceremony. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, I had a surprising amount of trouble finding the, uh, the ceremony room.
I like how he's just speaking to me in a apparently normal voice, even though he was like a hundred feet away from me. He would have to yell across this massive cavernous room. Okay, I'm assuming there's nothing more to do with them. Nothing more they want me to do. Farewell. Farewell. All right. And go to the radio tower. Congratulations, Echo. Seven points. Nice. Energy weapons or submachine guns? Let's go with energy weapons. Because, again, I'm assuming I'm near the end of the game because it feels like it. I'm not sure if that's true, but it certainly feels like I'm near the end of the game, and I'm assuming I'm gonna be facing a lot of, like, horrible, massive robots. Some horrible creatures of Matthias's doing, or something, so... I'm gonna lean heavily towards energy weapons. And I'm assuming the radio tower's up here. Oh, it seems I have a Bastion radio tower gate key. I don't even remember getting this. I don't know if I just got it from Ascension McDade, or if I got that from a, somebody's body before. I have no idea. And by the way, I actually missed something back at the diner. With Duke Schwag, or whatever his name is. It says, we've dealt with Schwag, we should search his office for evidence and bring anything we find to flow. I didn't do that. So apparently I can still do, still do something with that quest. Alright, Ascension said everybody here is not going to shoot at me. <laughs> is this the Hollywood sign? It is? Oh, they- oh, fell over. Strange that there's this little dead end. Is that <gasps> is that zeolite? Ho ho ho! We got 30 pounds of zeolite here, and I think I have 10 pounds back at the base or something. Yeah, I think I put it in the storage compartment. Alright, who's got room? I think Lexcanium should be able to take it. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Why did this knight just run up here? Okay. I heard something. Must have been the wind. Missing her trinket. Should improve her chances from 13% to... 28. Still pretty bad, but I'll take it. Oh my god, two more bags of zeolite. How many do I actually need? Yeah, how many do I need? Does it actually say? It just says with medical grade zeolite, it doesn't specifically say how much.
Oh shit, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. <laughs> they show up as red until you mouse over them and then they're they're not. Okay. Good. Got my repeater unit somewhere here. Well, this is actually going to clear up a lot of weight, too. Yeah, I think six pounds. Hmm? It's locked. Echo 1, this is enemy base. We'll go ahead. We attached a repeater to the transmitter in Griffith. Over. Roger, Echo 1. Stand by while I make contact with Ranger Citadel. If that tower can't push our signal to Arizona, then nothing will. Ranger Citadel, this is Santa Fe Base. Do you read? Over. I say again, Ranger Citadel, this is Santa Fe Base. Come in. Over. This is General Vargas speaking. Woodson, is that you? 10-4, General. I have Team Echo listening in. Thanks to Team Echo, we were able to relay our signal from a powerful tower in Griffin. Over. Roger, Dad. Sounds like you and Team Echo have been holding your own. What's the status of Team Foxtrot, over? Sorry to say, Team Foxtrot is KIA. Those of us who stayed back at Santa Fe were overrun by mutant dogs. Only reason I'm alive is because Team Echo showed up to save my hide. As for the down chopper, well, Team Echo has been running the investigation. I'll let them give you the sit rep. They've also run into a new threat that you're going to want to hear about. Patching them in now. This is Echo 1. Copy that. We'll get Murcaptain working on the schematics for your rad suits. Now, what's this new threat that Woodson mentioned? Over. I just had a whole bunch of stuff that didn't show up down here. We ran out of fuel and our chopper went down to Santa Fe Base, blah blah blah, heavy radiation, we're working on upgrading our rad suits. Over. Some nutjob named Matthias has it in for the Rangers. He seems to know about Ranger Citadel and has been promising to retaliate against us for killing his... children. If I had five scrap for every nutjob that made threats against us, I'd be retired by now. But I think you're right about this Matthias nutjob. He sounds like the type who'd be behind the attack on Team Foxtrot. I'll start calling in some favors over here in Arizona and make sure we have enough resources to handle any surprises. Keep digging up what you can on this Matthias character and keep us posted on the status of Team Foxtrot. Anything else to report? Over. Negative. Over. Roger, Echo One. I'm getting word from Mer Captain about those schematics for your rad suits. Sending them over to Woodson now. Woodson, confirm receipt. Over. This is Woodson. Schematics confirmed. Over. Roger that. I'll let Woodson go over the schematic details with you, Team Echo. You stay safe and keep doing us proud. Ranger Citadel out. This is Woodson. Good news, Echo One. I was right about the zeolite. The bad news is we're gonna need a lot of it. According to Merc Captain's calculations, we're gonna need 50 pounds of medical grade zeolite. No problem. I think I already have that, right? I have 40 pounds on me, then I have 10 pounds back at base. Yeah, I'm good. I'll start prepping things on my end. Once you have the zeolite, head back to Santa Fe and I'll take care of your upgrades. Copy? Over. Good copy. Over. 10-4, Echo 1. Santa Fe base out. Let me just confirm that I do have 40 pounds. That's 30 right there. Oh, wait. No, I actually have 50. Yeah, we already have it. We actually have more than we need. Is that reflected in the quest? Mm, doesn't say it, but it's probably set up the same way as the cat litter quest, where you just have to just transfer it to him. And... Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, I guess there's nothing more to do here other than go back to the diner. 
Which is uh, going to take a little bit to get there, so I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Let's go see what Schwag was hiding. Yeah, I totally forgot to check his vault and his uh, little container here. It's probably trapped. Of course. Schwag's ledger. That's what we're looking for. Hard evidence of Duke Schwag's slaving activity. What? What's the point of that? We killed him. Who cares? Uh, yeah, hit here. He was the head of the slavers, and I worked for him all this time. Ugh, I want to puke. Wish I could make amends somehow. Hmm. Well, maybe I can. The place is gonna need a new owner, ain't it? Maybe I can make it what it always should have been. Thanks, Rangers. Everything's on the house for y'all from now on. Thanks. You took over the drugstore. What? You took over the... Um, okay. Uh, you took over the drugstore? <laughs> when did this happen? Wait, this is a drugstore. What? I know the sign up top still says Schwags, but I'm the owner now, and it's all thanks to... Wait, what do you mean drugstore? I thought this was a fucking diner. Okay. Bye. I'm so confused. So, everything's free, huh? That ain't free. Let's try the cook. Come on, you jerk. Nor is that free. I thought you said I get got to eat on the house or something. Everything's on the house, you name it, it's yours. Okay. Gimme a burger. And fries. And a large Coke. Jesus. I help her out and that's how she treats me, huh? Cold shoulder. Coffee rain. Congratulations, Echo. Four points, not enough for anything. Well, actually, hold on, wait a minute. She's maxed on energy weapon, shotgun, and demolitions. So I actually need to start something new. Perception is pointless, blunt weapons, who cares? Is there anything that's even slightly significant that she can do? Barter's irrelevant, because I think it's, what, Harper who's doing that? Yeah, he's already got a barter skill of four, and the person with the highest barter skill is, of course, going to uh, take over that that role or whatever you want to call it. They don't add together the barter skill, so there's no point. Irrelevant, irrelevant, brute force. I'm not going to be able to pass a single damn challenge. Is there anything that can make a difference while still being low level? I don't think so. I think her skill points are completely useless now. Toaster repair? Sure. She's the toaster repair woman of my group. Alright, it's time to leave. Time to go back to... what? Santa Fe? Mm-hmm.
Station. That is all my quests here, right? Yeah, no more quests for Hollywood. It's been so long since I've actually, actually been on the overhead map. Well, that was quick. 100% chance to escape though, that's nice. I know I've been upgrading my outdoorsman skill by at least a couple points, so it seems to have paid off. Because before, I think my chance of running away was about healed up real quick. <laughs> Let's see if we can repair this toaster. Zero percent. Hold on now. I think I can upgrade my skill by two. Oh, I actually left the dowsing rod equipped. I should not have done that. It's very bad for combat. Now my chances? Ooh, 12%. One of these days, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to crack this thing. I'm going to crack this puppy toaster. Of course, this place has no back door. How convenient. Thanks, In Exile. I love you too. Why is there a dead dog on the floor? They still haven't cleaned up the dog carcasses? It's been like months. They gotta be sneaking up the place. Anyway, hey, what's going on? Oh, of course. Yes, perfect. This is plenty. Give me a minute and I'll whip your new rat suits right up. Could you describe the process of making these suits to me? I'm just trying to picture, how do you take 50 pounds of zeolite and then whip up rat suits in minutes? What are you doing with the zeolite exactly? Well, that was quick. Uh, there you go. With those bad boys, you'll be able to pass right through the southern wall with no difficulty. Cool. Oh, right. I guess we can just get the uh, report from here to level up. Six points. Don't need that. Don't need that. Outdoorsman. Well, that 100% she has to run away before. I don't really feel the need to upgrade that anymore. There's no point in upgrading Animal Whisper because I can always use the Akita figurine. Um, yeah, in other words, her skill points are also useless. I could start doing Hard Ass because I don't have anybody that does that. But it's going to be a long time, probably after the end of the game. If you wanted to extrapolate out a graph of my skill points over time, I think I would probably achieve maximum hard ass after the end of the game. So, um, I could do Outdoorsman.
Eh, let's do hard ass and <laughs> see if we can get there one day. Let me just check to see whether I had a bag of zeolite in here, because I think I did. Yeah, there it is. One extra bag. I guess just in case you somehow missed one. Although, I don't know how you could miss one. Because what did you do? I mean, you picked up two or three. At the radio tower. Just laying on table. Um, and then you also lockpicked... You can lockpick a safe and get two or three as well. So regardless of which way you do it, if you forget one or you forget the other, you're going to be missing more than one bag of zeolite. So I'm not sure how the additional one would help. I don't know, maybe there's more bags of zeolite that you can get out there as extras, so if you can get two extras, that would actually make up for missing one of the major sources that are a part of the main quest line. I suppose. Alright, check out our new radiation suit. That's plus five, and that is plus six. Let's pack this one away. <laughs> Look at her old crappy suits. Plus two. Plus four, plus five, and now plus six. Okay, so I think I'm going to end this episode here, but in the next episode, I'm going to probably do some inventory management off screen before recording. But also, most importantly, we are going to go south. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.